case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1959, the Florida District Court of Appeal ruled in Fontainebleau Hotel Corp v. 4525 Inc. that a landowner is not entitled to the free flow of air and sunlight as a legal right. The case involved two luxury hotel corporations, with the plaintiff, Eden Rock Hotel, claiming that a 14-story addition to the neighboring Fontainebleau Hotel would cast a shadow over their cabana, swimming pool, and sunbathing areas during the winter months, rendering the beach unusable for guests. The plaintiff argued that the construction was malicious, violated building ordinances, and interfered with their easements to light and air that they had enjoyed for more than 20 years. The trial court initially sided with the plaintiff, ordering the defendant to halt construction temporarily. However, the appeals court later reversed the decision, stating that the trial court had wrongly relied on the sic utere tuo ut alienum non laetus maxim. This maxim asserts that one can use their property in any manner that does not harm another's legal rights, and the court found that the plaintiff had no legal right to uninterrupted airflow and sunlight. Thus, the defendant was allowed to continue building their hotel, despite the potential shading of the neighboring hotel's pool area. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class. 